welcome back to the channel. I am Richard Fixer and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to correctly diagnose an LG refrigerator with a linear compressor. Now, please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. So the first thing we're going to do is to check for errors on the display. And we do this by pressing um, the freezer button and ice plus button simultaneously. If there's an error, it will show. So the second thing we're going to do is to open the refrigerator and use our temperature gun to check the temperature in the um, refrigerator and in the freezer. And as you can see, the temperature is in the 70s. So we know that um, no cooling is going on here. Third thing we're going to do is to check power at connected 201. Um, so we have unplugged connected 201 and we're going to check power from the two outer pin. But we have to press the test button that's on the board and the voltage from that those two pins should be ramping up to 200 volts. So as we see on the multimeter, the voltage went up to 200 volts. So the board is perfectly okay. So the fourth thing we're going to do is to put a bully piercing valve on the, on the process stop um, to check the operating pressure and also the standing pressure. Now the standing pressure usually varies between 40 to 60 psi and that uh, depends on the ambient temperature inside um, the, the, the room or wherever we're working. So we're just going to put on this process stop and then put our gauges on to check for the pressures. So we're just piercing the valve and then to put the gauges on to check to see what the um, the pressure inside the system is. As you can see, our gauge is connected and the fan is running, but the pressure on the low side is 60 psi. So the compressor is not pumping in at all. So we have a, a defective um, compressor with the um, LGs and these um, these compressors they go pretty fast. You know, so the compressor is not pumping, so that's why there's no cooling. <laughs> 